Baseball's best showed off their 2007 World Series trophy during the rolling rally in Boston today. 22 News reporter Jacqueline Cashman joins us now live from the scene of today's Red Sox celebration. Good evening, Veronica. Good evening, Barry. Well, we have been live here at Copley Square in downtown Boston since 6 o'clock this morning. We are the only local station reporting live from Boston to show you all the highlights from today. Just an amazing day that we've had. And, of course, on 22 News at noon, the entire full hour of local news was dedicated to the rolling rally. But, you know, it's amazing just what a few hours can do because, as you can see behind me here, there really isn't a person in sight. But earlier today, around noon today, this place was just packed with fans lined up ready to see the best team in baseball after winning the World Series on Sunday against the Colorado Rockies. Red Sox Nation was ready and they let the 2007 World Series champs know it. As promised, Jonathan Papelbon danced with the Dropkick Murphys, who rocked out on this flatbed truck. But it's unclear who the crowd went more crazy for, the Irish Jig or Big Poppy and Manny Ramirez. Many Western Massachusetts residents made the trek to Boston, and they say it was worth it. It's a beautiful day. The crowd is going crazy, and uh, the players were just uh, so excited. It was pretty clear that they were looking at us as much as we were looking at them. It was a victory for everybody. It's not quite as good as 2004, but this is really good, too, so I loved it. That was changing. Let's go, Red Sox! <laughs> and Pavelbon, of course. But amongst all the cheering, the fans did have a message for the front office. Now next up for the Red Sox is actually some vacation for the next two months before they go back to training. For now they can rest on their laurels as World Series champs and they've now proven to their fans that 2004 was no fluke and there is no sort of black cloud hovering over the Red Sox. For now we're live in Boston. Jacqueline Cashman, 22 News.